I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on domain and range of functions. The question here is find domain and range of y equals to x to the power of 9 minus x to the power of 7 divided by square root of 1 plus x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 10. Try to make a rough sketch of the given function. So there are two parts to this question. One, we have to write domain and range of the function and then we'll try to sketch the function itself. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now, as you can see, to find domain, we have to test the denominator. Now, we can see that the denominator, which is square root of 1 plus x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 10 is always greater than 0, right? Since even if you substitute some negative values, even powers will make it positive. So it is 1 plus that positive number. Minimum being 1, do you see that? In fact, this value will always be greater than equal to 1. Do you see that? This value is always positive and you see this is always greater than equal to 1 and that will be the case when x is 0, right? So, um, and so we can see square root of 1 plus x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 10 is equal to 1 when x equals to 0. Is that okay? So the denominator is never 0. It's always greater than 1. So from there, we can say domain is what? x belongs to real numbers, correct? So that is how you can analyze for the domain. And you show that the domain of this function is all real numbers, right? Since the denominator is never 0, that's the whole idea. Now, how do we find the range? Think about range. So, we know that the denominator is always positive. For large values of x, denominator is going to be, because it's a square root, uh, large, but smaller than, much, much smaller than the numerator. What you notice here is that the degree of numerator is greater than degree of denominator, right? So that means that in this case, numerator, as x approaches large value, the behavior of the curve will be similar to the behavior of numerator, right? Now, what does that mean? Let me let me use the space now. So that really means that behavior of function for large values will be dominated by numerator, right? Now, what is a numerator? We can say the numerator is x to the power of 9 minus x to the power of 7, which you could write as x to the power of 7, and then you get x squared minus 1, and that is x to the power of 7 times x plus 1 times x minus 1. Do you see that? So that gives you three zeros. This information is going to help us to make a rough sketch. Now, behavior of the function is more like that of the numerator. Numerator is an odd polynomial, right? Degree of numerator is much, much higher. x to the power of 9. Here it is half of 10, which is 5, correct? So what do we conclude from here? We conclude that the graph of this function will move from quadrant, so we can say, because of this, 
uh, I want to leave some space for the graph. So we say graph uh, extends from quadrant 3 to quadrant 1 because we have leading coefficient as 1, correct? So leading coefficient is 1. That is what we get and therefore we can write that the range is also y belongs to real numbers. There's no restriction, correct? With all this information, you can actually kind of sketch the graph. Uh, let me just try to sketch the graph here. What we figure out is that we have three zeros. Numerator zeros will give us zeros. One is an odd degree zero at origin. Then we have linear zeros at plus and minus one, right? plus and minus one. These are linear zeros. Since the degree is 9, odd degree, positive leading coefficient, right side is up, is it okay? And opposite ends, correct? Since these are linear, it will kind of go, go kind of like this. And this is uh, like this. So that should be the type of graph which you expect for this particular function with three zeros, one at minus one, the other one at zero, and then a linear zero at plus one. Do you get an idea? So from here you can clearly see that the function has no restrictions on its domain. It will have three zeros. It will be more like odd degree polynomial with positive leading coefficient, right? So the end behavior is more like odd degree polynomial with positive leading coefficient, right? So let me add this line here, positive leading coefficient. Is it okay? So all this combined together helps you to understand the function, to write its domain range and also to sketch it at times, right? Uh, to make it more accurate, you could take few points and work out the values and get more accurate results. But this is more or less the shape of the graph. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you appreciate it. So you can like my videos, share with your friends and feel free to write your comments. Thank you and all the best.